So, so we found out the distance between two skew lines. Now we try to find out the distance between two parallel lines, right? <coughs> so the shortest distance between between the two between two parallel lines, right? Now you see, now you see, one thinks, why not apply the same formula that you got for the, for the skew lines into that for the parallel lines, why not? And you will soon realize, the moment you see the formula, the formula says what? A2 minus A1 dotted with B1 cross B2 unit vector in that direction, so that is B1 cross B2. This was our SD for a skew line, right? <coughs> shortest distance. SD stands for shortest distance. Now what? If I have got two parallel lines, what happens? Their B1 and B2 are the same. Why? Because they are parallel to the same vector. So the moment you try to apply this thinking that this is a general formula, this whole formula drops down, fails. Okay? So we have to devise something else. And two parallel lines as you imagine on a plane or you imagine it in the space, they are the same. So by parallel, we mean actually absolutely like this, right? Parallel to the same vector. So this or this or this, okay? but never like that or that, not tilted. Okay? That means if you shift them, if you shift them, what is one more property of the skew lines? There cannot be one plane which will contain both of them. Okay. So, so if it is like this, which is a skew line, you cannot draw a plane which will contain both of them. Never. That is not possible. Here it is possible. So if it is a plane like this, obviously this plane, this plane, my, my palm, that is containing both of them. right? Or if it is like this, then it is like this. Okay. So, so parallel lines are containable by a plane and here they are parallel to the same vector. So, so, so this, this B vector is one to which it is parallel. And another thing is that I do not have to bother about different distances. The distance between the lines at all points is the same. So it is one thing that you have to find out. Earlier we were constrained because there were so many distances and I had to pick up the one which was the shortest. Here, the distance is only one. Okay? I, I mean perpendicular distance. Okay? So, so this is B. So, so let this line be written as R is equal to A1 plus lambda B. Okay? And this be written as R, obviously a vector, is equal to A2 plus mu B. And I am supposed to find out this perpendicular distance, this perpendicular distance. Okay. Now what I do, obviously there is, there is a point A1 on this and there is a point say A2 on this like that. So again I take the help of those. So maybe, maybe this is what vector? This is A2 minus A1 vector? Is it not? If this point is A2 and this point is A1, then this vector is A2 minus A1. A2 minus A1 will point in this direction, okay? Because A2 is here. And hope you understand. Don't don't lose your basic perspective. Actually, A2s and A1s are like what? They are the they are the position vectors of with respect to this origin always don't don't lose that don't lose that perspective hmm? so this is your a2 this is your a2 actually okay this vector is a2 and obviously a solid vector i'm not drawing because it will make it will make it whole a very very congested thing and this is your a1 also this is your a1 
Okay, this is your a one vector. Fine. All, 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 always keep that in mind. So I'm erasing this after after you understand whatever we are talking about. I'll I'll erase this. So. So that's why this is a two minus a one, and say I. I want this distance, correct. So what do I do? What do I do to find this distance? Hmm? What do I do to find this distance? Hmm? Hmm? No, no. This is R. R is equal to this. A two minus A one is this, and and B is this vector. Okay. So, so what do I do? See, if if this is A two minus A one, and this is my vector B, then this is the angle theta. Huh? If that is angle theta, then this is ninety minus theta. Is it not? And I want this. I want this. So actually, I want what? I want the the shortest distance, which is which is the distance in this case. That is the distance between the parallel lines. So shortest distance is equal to a two mod a two minus a one into into cos of this angle. Is it not cos of this angle? So cos ninety minus theta. Is it not? So in fact, I want a two minus a one sine theta. Is it not? I want this. Now, what is the way in which I can get sine theta? How do I get sine theta? Because this is theta, right? So how do I get sine theta? If angle between two vectors is theta, then the only way in which you will get sine theta is by crossing them. Is it not? So you see, if I cross a two minus a one cross b, then that gives me mod of a two minus a one into mod b. Into sine theta, and I want this part of it. So what do I do? I divide this by by mod b. Is it not? So that gives me mod a two minus a one sine theta, and that is my shortest distance. So it becomes shortest distance becomes a two. Minus a one cross b cap. B upon mod b is what? B cap. Right. So, and mod of that. You never know because if you take this here and find out the value, it it you might get a negative value. But since it is a distance, it cannot be negative. So I always keep a mod in front of that. And we do, and distance is a vector, is a scalar quantity. Otherwise, this would have been vector. So, so that's why I take the mod of it. Right? Simple. Hmm. So. So let us do an example. Find the shortest distance. Find the shortest distance between these two lines. Uh, do I erase this? No, not yet. Afternoon. Afternoon. After a minute. 